Yo, have you heard of LinkedIn Learning? If you haven't, LinkedIn Learning is an American massive open online course provider. It provides video courses taught by industry experts in a variety of subjects. Now, why am I sharing this? I'm sharing this because Living Corporate is in partnership with LinkedIn Learning to provide diversity, equity, and inclusion courses. Listen, if you're trying to be a better ally, you want to understand better diversity, equity, and inclusion strategies, or you just want to learn how to be a better leader, you got to check out the courses on LinkedIn Learning. So check it out. You can do it one of two ways. You can click the link in the show notes or you go to LinkedIn Learning and you search Living Corporate. Again, link in the show notes or go to LinkedIn Learning and search Living Corporate. I'll see you over there. What's going on, Living Corporate? It's Tristan, and I want to thank you for tapping back in with me as I provide some tips and advice for professionals. Today, let's discuss a couple of things that you should do when your boss is out of the office. When the holidays begin to roll around, you notice that the office slowly starts to look empty and you start receiving nothing but out-of-office messages. During those times when no one is around or online, it's easy to give into temptation, surf the web, and waste countless hours on social media. However, you can utilize this free time wisely and maybe even impress your boss. First, try to plan ahead by having a quick meeting with your boss to level set. Ask your manager when they will be taking vacation and put those dates on your calendar. Then discuss what projects or other tasks they would like you to work on while they are away. Be ready to take the initiative and offer up ideas if your boss doesn't have any. Then put them all on your calendar so you don't forget anything. If your boss leaves you with a light workload, don't be afraid to ask other team members if there's anything that you can help with. Offering up your assistance is a great way to build or strengthen relationships and show that you're a team player. You might meet someone new, learn about a different role, or better understand another part of the business. You can also utilize this time of peace to learn something new. You can use your company's learning management systems to boost your skills or just get all that required training out of the way. You can check out other sites and even YouTube to boost skills that your company's learning management system may not be able to help you with. Not only can these skills help you become better in your role, but you might be able to use them to land a future role. Lastly, don't forget to recap with your boss what you've done or learned during this time so they know you've made good use of your time without them there. I know it's always a push to stay motivated during the end of the year, but doing a couple of these things will show your boss that you're self-motivated and can be trusted while they're gone. This tip was brought to you by Tristan of Layfield Resume Consulting. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Layfield Resume, or connect with me, Tristan Layfield, on LinkedIn.